Well, let's get you more on this. Our science editor, Julia Seeger, is standing by at Vivitech for us. Uh, hi to you, Julia. Uh, we understand that President Emmanuel Macron uh, will be visiting uh, Vivitech today. He's set to make some announcements at what could be quite interesting. Uh, walk us through what we might hear from the president today. That's right, Rochelle. Uh, the French president is expected to visit uh, the uh, trade show later on this afternoon. VivaTech, uh, just to give you a context, uh, is trying to become the European equivalent of the CES in Las Vegas, and it has indeed changed quite a bit since its debut in uh, 2016. They're expecting about 2,400 startups and 2,000 uh, investors, and that's double compared to 2016. Now, the president will be of attendance. He's going to be strolling around the aisles of the exhibition center and he is in a familiar ground indeed because he's considered as the president of the startup nation he's going to make a stop over at the French tech booth and this time it's going to be to address the issues that French startups are facing today this after the last two years where seed money was literally flowing while well, things are now getting uh, more difficult and many of those companies were valued and even perhaps overvalued as unicorns now the addition was initially quite dull uh, until of course, the uh, the surprise uh, uh, announcement of the of the visit of Elon Musk, which is uh, he's the CEO, of course, of Tesla, SpaceX, and Twitter. I mean, Julia, I remember uh, being at Viva Tech when uh, the president uh, w was there, and there will be a lot of people wanting uh, to listen in to him. He's set to uh, speak a little bit later on today. Uh, walk us through. We've got some hints of what the announcement might be. Uh, give us some more details. We do indeed, Rochelle. He's about to. Uh, he's set to speak uh, at 4 p.m. today, and we expect him to enlarge uh, the uh, 2018 AI plan, which was initially uh, endowed with 1.5 billion dollars. But at the time, it did not include generative AI, which, of course, now in hindsight, with the launch of ChatGPT at the end of 2022, has become essential. Uh, he wants France to become a champion in the field of AI. That said, France is already doing well. Uh, we have about over 300 startups and 30 unicorns in that field. Uh, many uh, great startups like Mistral, for instance, it's a company that was founded by uh, two uh, experts from Google and Meta and uh, who recently raised about 100 million euros. But to stay in that global race, much more will be needed in terms of education and research, but also in terms of funding uh, and especially of what we call deep tech funding. Now, deep tech is those technologies that are set to uh, really bring disruption disruption and a change to society. I'm thinking, of course, of synthetic biology, of quantum, but also of uh, blockchain and robotics and, and, and space. And uh, it's important to say that technology is not just about applications and digital platforms. It's also about science and about what we call fundamental technologies. Julia, uh, following uh, the Viva Tech for us for now. Uh, thank you very much.